All right, with Valentine's Day coming up, a lot of people are bumming out because they don't have someone to share it with. So you may be alone, but you're really not alone. <laughs> Number from the Pew Research Center shows that three out of ten people are single and will most likely be that way come Valentine's Day. I mean... It's on Wednesday. I don't know mm -hmm. what you're going to do from now to Wednesday, but here to help us get through that day is licensed marriage family therapist and best-selling author, Keandra Jackson. Happy to have you with us. Thank, Thank you so you much for, for having me. Here. I'm excited to be here. Yeah, we love having you here. And we were talking a little bit uh, prior to uh, the segment about just, you know, how Valentine's Day has become such a thing, even in schools. You know, mm -hmm. kids take their little cards or their little Absolutely. treats. But I feel like it's so much pressure on yeah. everyone, right? <laughs> Tons of pressure, whether you're single, married, children, the elderly, everyone has so much pressure on Valentine's Day. So you've come up with this way of breaking it down for people who are single. So you're using the word single, the acronym, and S stands for what? L stands for self-care, self-love, right? This is a day where you can really just pamper yourself. So sometimes what I like to do is even go on a solo date. You don't always have to have a romantic mm. partner, but mm -hmm. just do something that is going to bring you some joy. What, what is it that you're planning on this? Uh, ooh, you know, I like to get hair, makeup, and just go massage. to a nice place. Ooh, massage. <laughs> That's what I I'm adding that to the list. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> How about I? What does I stand for? I is introspection. So that means we go <laughs> inward. This is where you need to really think about some of the insights that you might have about your desires, your aspirations, and values. Because in order to find a mate, you need to know who you are and what you're looking for. Hmm. Yeah, I like that. Doing a little digging. Deep, dig deep. Yeah. Go deeper. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then what about the N? N. Guess what it's going to be? I don't know. <gasps> Nurture. Sometimes we spend so much time thinking about those romantic relationships that we don't think about the platonic ones. So family, mm -hmm. friends, and even co-workers, those are also relationships that, leave, that need love and nurturing as well. And G. 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 Ooh, growth, right? <laughs> oh, this goes in so line important. with the introspection piece. Mm -hmm. And this one is when we're taking a little bit more action, right? Introspection was kind of just <laughs> thinking about it, but this one is putting it to action, setting the goals, creating the vision board, and really putting in that self-improvement for you to be a better all, better overall person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So L, I'm going to guess, is it for love. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good one. L is for laughter. It's so serious sometimes on Valentine's Day, like we talked about with all of the pressures. So do something that's going to make you laugh, whether that's watching a funny movie, scrolling on social media to watch some funny content. But that's going to help you if some type of negative feelings or emotions might arise if you are single. Mm -hmm. And last is E. E is embrace freedom. Oh, There's I so like much that. independence that comes with singleness mm -hmm. that we forget about that sometimes. You don't have to question and check in with anyone. You can make decisions on your own, and that's really important. And I know so many spouses and parents wish they had yes. more free time <laughs> to really have the things that they want to do. So mm -hmm. embrace this time of singleness and not feel like it's a bad thing. It just, uh, all of it makes me laugh in some ways because people who do have, say, significant <laughs> others or partners, they, many people like approach Valentine's Day like it's not a big deal. I don't even partake in the mm -hmm. celebratory activities. And then those who don't sometimes they feel like they're be feeling left out. And yeah. it's like don't feel that way because <laughs> right. that's really not the reality of what's mm -hmm. out there. Yeah, especially if you've been with a partner for a long time. You know, you should be showing love to your partner every single day, not just one time a year. Mm -hmm. Yes, agree. Yes, I know. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks so much for all those tips. You're it's welcome. great. And um, yeah, we'll and right make sure you add the massage in. Yeah. I absolutely yeah. will. I'm add adding that, that to the list. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. I seriously think I, I want to do that. No. Like for myself. I really was like, oh, yeah.